Hello, I'm Stephen Ho, trader and founder of The Stop Punter, and in today's chart of the day, I'm gonna do the August 2021 review for WTI crude oil. I'm gonna take a look at the technical analysis and find out what is going on. So let's dive straight in. <laughs> So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. So with that out the way, let's get on with the analysis. Now straight into the weekly line chart. Now since our last review in July, we've seen the price come off, but let's look straight away at the Fibonacci lines to see why that might have been. And we can see actually at around the 75 level, going back into early 2018, almost we have some serious resistance level there where we hit that peak twice. and more recently, and I said in July, it tried to break that, couldn't, and has since pulled back into the late 60s. Now, if we take the Fibonacci lines a bit further, where could it pull back further to? Well, possibly the 62 area. Again, some serious noise around there through 2019 and 20, and that also followed down to the next 61.8% key Fibonacci line in the early 50s and really if we want to go further from there then it's way back to around about $36 that we last saw actually in the sort of fall autumn time of 2020. So at the moment yeah the trend from mid 2020 is still intact at the moment but we've seen the short term pull back and it's looking you know in sort of mid no man's land in terms of Fibonacci zones at the moment so let's focus in now on the Heikinashi chart see if we can learn anything else the daily Heikinashi chart is giving us some interesting clues to what's going on here if we go to the indicators below we can see a sort of bearish situation, the RSI and the regression there, both currently in a sell situation, but both also warming up, so they could be turning to look more positive. Now, the volatility there, the middle line on its own, picking up slightly, but nothing unusual there. And if we go up onto the price chart itself, we can see the price trying to break out of the box so up those two pink lines there to come further down. But interestingly enough, there's this Fibonacci line around the $67 mark. And if we go back through that, we can see the price really bouncing around off there, either using it as support or resistance. So we could be at a key reversal point for it to bounce back up to those highs of 76. Or if we see a breakdown, then the 61.8% line is waiting for it down around $60, where again, there is a lot of noise. So if it does go down to there, we could expect maybe the price to pause a bit before maybe trying to assert itself upwards. And if not, and it really does turn bearish, then the next stop, 38.2% line around about $50 or just under. So at the moment, the situation on the daily chart is looking like the price is consolidating around the 67 mark uh, due to historical price reasons and is looking for clues itself whether to bounce up back to those highs or break down further to that next range low. So again, let's now move on to the Renko chart to focus in even further. I've got all color mad on the Renko chart today. I've used a block size of 50 cents. So that gives me the short term swings and trades that I'm looking for. Immediately down to the signals at the bottom, 
uh, we got a regression looking bullish and we got a DMI adjusted looking bearish at the moment. On to the price, now I've drawn all sorts of things on here. The yellow uh, sort of rectangle you can see there, just highlighting the range really between 57 and $67. A lot of price action between that lot and when it's gone above the highs there at 67, it's tried to come back down towards that $67 area and found that as a more interesting sort of support area before trying to bounce back upwards. Again, now the price is trying to break out above those um, bands that we can see there. But the other interesting drawing I put on there is a regression trend, a two plus minus two standard deviation regression trend, just to see how the price could be bouncing around inside there. And it seems to be sort of following that trend upwards. So back, you know, a few weeks, we could see the turn in the price around the 64, you know, 65 ish area. And then it's started to work its way back upwards. So in terms of short term price action, the next upside sort of 69.70. That's the next Fibonacci line. And then we've got a sort of confluence around the 78.6% line of the regression trend and the Fibonacci around the $73 mark. And then it's back up to those highs around 77 in the short run. And if it should take off further, then it 82 and a half would be a possible upside target. Now to the downside, if it does break further down, then we've got support at $62. And if it can break down through that, then there's a lot of noise around 57, 57 and a half dollars. At the moment, the trend slightly weak bullish, as we can see from that regression trend set up and just generally eyeballing the chart. And it's looking like it's trying to push further upwards, but you know it can be very jittery oil, very volatile on any fundamental news. So be careful when trading it. At the moment, you know if I was to summarise the uh, Renko chart here, neutral to weak bullish in the shorter term. So let's move on to the general summary to put together the whole picture. Now oil can be a tricky one to trade just on the technicals alone so if you've got a strategy around it you've got to really make sure that it's watertight because you know it can be volatile and erratic at times and I like to add other sentiment and fundamental indicators just to confirm that technical bias and put it all together as one picture but if we're just going off the technicals alone you know i'm really pushed to go weak bullish it looks more neutral but i can see support around the key areas and it trying and looking like it's trying to bounce back towards those shorter term highs and if we focus in on the target uh, numbers to the bullish side it's not too bad in the longer term 2.6 4.1 so 4.3 to 1 so some decent upside there if it can get that momentum downside wise a bit tighter a bit more risky to play around you know those numbers that we talked about 63.58 as shorter term or medium term targets if it breaks downwards but overall you know I'm slightly pushed to move it from a neutral to a weak bullish uh, picture which is actually a downgrade from the bullish view that I gave it a month ago so let's see you know what happens over the coming weeks and months there you go WTI crude oil in an interesting place at the moment is the price resetting gonna bounce from here carry upwards or is it gonna come back down Difficult to say, the technicals sort of undecided at the moment. So maybe you can get your clues from the fundamental side in this instance to help aid your decision making. Let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen to the price of crude oil. Do you trade it? Have you got any good strategies uh, around the oil sector? 
And if you've liked today's technical analysis and you want to learn more, I'll put some further info in the description below for you to follow. If you like today's video, please give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notification of content such as this. And all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Good luck with the trading and I'll see you in the next video.